Hi guys, Keeper Dave here and welcome to the treehouse. Today we are going to look at this strange looking creature, the pencil sea urchin. They do get their name from these pencil like spines that they have covering their body. The sea urchin belongs to the same family as the sea star and the sea cucumber. That is the echinoderm family. It is quite a hard word, but it just means spiny skin. Sea urchins, they do have a mouth, and if I turn it over, you can see right there in the middle, that tiny white spot that is its mouth. This one, it does have teeth, it has five teeth. They also do have a hole right on the top just here, and that is actually their bottom. So they are a little bit upside down sea urchins with a bottom on the top and their mouth on the bottom. The sea urchin doesn't have eyes like ours, but they do have something called light receptors covering that skin on their body. And those light receptors, they enable them to be able to tell the difference between day and night. Sea urchins are omnivores. That means that they eat both meat and plants. They are scavenger feeders, so they move along the ocean floor, picking up pieces of food that have been left behind. So they're keeping the ocean nice and clean for us and also for the other animals. Most sea urchins do have quite sharp spines, but you can see the spines on these guys, they're blunt and they're quite hard. A sea urchin, if you do walk on it, it can be very painful. The spines, they do break quite easily as well, but it doesn't worry the sea urchin because those spines, they can grow back. Pencil urchins not only use their spines for protection, they also use them to move. During the day, they are commonly found wedged between rocks, and at night time, they are much more active. This means they are nocturnal. Okay, so some fun facts about sea urchins. So not all, but some sea urchins do have venom in their spines, and if walked on, that would be extremely painful. Also, the red sea urchin is one of the longest living animals on Earth. They can live for up to 200 years, so a very long time. So now, I guess we should rate them. Okay, for size, they're not big at all, so I'm going to give them a 2 for size. For speed, they are definitely not fast, so I'm going to give them a 1 for speed. This guy has no venom, so I'm going to give them a 0 for venom. And for temperament, they're not aggressive at all. The only way they do have to protect themselves is with those spines, so I'm going to give them a 1 for temperament. So that's all we have time for today. To see more of our videos, don't forget to subscribe and give us a like, and we'll catch you next time in the treehouse. See you later!